name's Grandad. Well, here we are again. Thanks for joining us. First job of the day is to cut back all the foam insulation that I got quite carried away with. Kept as much as we could but just neatened all the edges up and made it as a nice straight line. decided to use the bubble wrap foil for below the gunners, the bottom bit that's sort of like under the water line. Here you can see we've cut the foil insulation to the right size so it can go up the side of the boat and all we've done here is you, you've seen in the previous vlog that um, we've actually put the foil under the floor so we overlapped it up the side of the wall underneath the floor so the, here you can see that I'm just taping it onto that edge cutting a bit of the insulation away on the side wall on sort of that's a bit of a steel rib that runs up the side of the boat there just so that the, the uh, foil sort of sits more flush to the wall and basically yeah and then just lift lift up the foil here pull it sort of tautish sort of tight and then using a staple gun we've just fired staples into the 2 by one battening that we've already put on We left enough foil as a at the top edge so that we could pull it up over the two by one, as you can see here, and just push it over, staple it on, and then eventually what we'll do now is we'll get the silver tape, and then we'll uh, tape this top joint. And once we've worked out sort of the best way of doing this, Haley started at one end of the boat, I started at the other, and we sort of met in the middle. Now we're going to do the bit directly under the gunnels. So we get cracking on cutting back all the um, excess foam insulation and uh, and just neating it all up. When we were first uh, looking for a boat to buy and first started thinking about living on a boat, um, we saw a couple that had problems with damp right under the gunnels, under this area. Um, so we knew we wanted to do something extra under there. Um, and then when we started working on it, we realized actually how much condensation builds up under that area. So 
so we came up with this idea where we used a bit of yeah. this is actually a bit of floorboard um cut a bit of silver foil and wrapped it over the top of there um and then we're going to fasten this under the gunnel as you've probably seen just a minute ago there is actually um foil in, uh, not foil insulation sorry the uh, PIR insulation board already under there and some spray foam but as Ailey has pointed out before um, we just wanted to be 100% sure that we've got all the gaps in there so this is what we've done so we've both held it in place here and then um, some off cuts of timber we made these little it was like L shaped brackets um, just to support that fired them into well screw them up into the buttons that were already there um, and then once we've got it leveled out if you like we're going to fill that gap in a minute you'll see in a minute we're going to fill a gap between the foil and uh, the gunnel with some more spray foam not that much space on that one uh. yep. we put the uh, foil tape along the uh, bottom edge just here as you can see the reason for that is we just wanted to make sure that when we put some foam in, then put the foam spray in there, that it didn't come out below the the board.
Right, now the, this is all set and gone off this foam, insula this, uh, foam insulation. I'm going to, uh, the idea is we're going to just pull it a little bit back there, not too far, just to get an edge on this bit of 2 by one here. And then you'll see what I'm going to do in a minute anyway, but I'm going to just cut this back. Exposing that steel piece yeah. just right from the slope. Yeah, I don't want to go say, yeah, Zaley says it's there's a steel, the steel whole side comes down, so we want to cut this back enough to get this to wrap over and staple into there without going too far back to, to reveal the steel that we've foam sprayed, otherwise, it's just going to defeat the object. So, well, uh carry on doing that. Then we're just wrapping that under there. And now you can see why we've done it. Get this into that edge of that two by one and just staple under there just, just to hold this up out the way. Could leave that in like that but it's just me being a bit extra so I'll just run it along that edge there, just to trim it back to there. So that just neatens that up and then just carry on and continue all the way down there port and starboard in the back really. This really did work well though, didn't it? To stop all that. Leave it on. I know. Just give a good two inches over the Yeah. 